Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Monarch Butterfly inspired makeup look. And the first step in this makeup look is to set our eyes with some concealer. I mean to prime our eyes with some concealer. And I went ahead and I took the number zero concealer from Limelight by Alcone. And we're just going to be using a brush to apply this all over our lids. We want to get a nice and even layer on the lids for priming. And then the next step is setting the concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe Color Burst Palette and we're going to take that whitest eyeshadow in the palette and really set our eyes. And the reason why I'm going in with a white eyeshadow is so that the other colors can stand out a little bit more. I usually do this with more vibrant colors, otherwise I just go in with like a kind of cream colored eyeshadow. And then after we go ahead and set this eye, we're going to go ahead and set the other lid as well. This is a really key step before applying any eyeshadows. The next shade we're going to go in with is that lighter shade orange. Again, from the Color Burst palette. I absolutely love this palette, guys, when I'm doing like more vibrant looks, um, such as this one. So we're going to go ahead and go in with that orange shadow. And this is going to act as our transition shade. And um, if you guys want to know where I got these um, eye makeup brushes, these are not the best, but they're not too bad. Um, they were recommended to me by another YouTuber. Her name is Juicy Jazz. So if you follow her on YouTube, she's pretty awesome. The next shade is what's really going to make this whole look pop. And I'm actually going in with a blush. Now, I have never done this personally. I've never used this color in particular on my lids, but as you can see, this is a really pigmented and vibrant orange, and um, this is actually the blush called Oh Snap, and again, this is from Lime Life by Alco, and I'll also leave my link down in the description box if you are interested in purchasing any of these Lime Life by Alco products. Um, I do have a personal link, so if you want to check that out, feel free to check that out um, down below. So. We're going to go ahead and as you can see, I'm pretty much doing the same step as the first one and applying this all over the transition shade as well as really pack this color on in the outer V. Um, this is the color that I really want to stand out out of all of the looks because when thinking about a monarch butterfly, um, the first shade or the first color that I think about is orange. So um, I definitely want this orange to stand out. And once I apply that with a smaller brush, then I go in with a kind of a fluffier brush to really just blend the eyeshadow color out. And you just kind of go back and forth until you get the intensity that you desire. So now I'm actually going to move on to the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. And I'm going to go in with that darker kind of brick red color in the shade Hunt. And I'm taking a Morphe M561 brush and just kind of packing that color in the outer corner to create some more dimension. And I'm also taking that color into my crease as well. And the whole purpose of this color is to re really add more dimension, um, make it a little bit darker in the outer V of my eye as well as my um, crease because we are going to be cutting the crease. So I want to make sure that the color that I'm going to apply on my lid really stands out from the crease and all the other colors as well. So once we apply that shade with this brush, then I do go in and use that fluffier brush to really blend um, the second color and the third color together. That way there are no harsh edges or any harsh lines. And this really just kind of brings all three colors or three shades of orange together. So now we are going to cut the crease and for today's concealer I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I've been using this one to cut the crease. I previously was using my Lime Life by Alcone Waterproof Complete Concealers but those are more of like a wax based concealer. They're a little bit thicker in consistency and I really just need something that's a little bit more liquid for cutting the crease. So I am taking an angled liner brush and trying to cut the crease. I think I went in with another brush after this, um, the e.l.f. concealer brush to kind of 
fill in the wider spaces on my lid. But for cutting the crease, I really like using an angled um, liner brush. I feel like it just gives me more precision because it's a lot smaller as well. So we're going to go ahead and cut the crease on this eye. And the reason why we are cutting the crease is because I am going to be applying a, another eyeshadow on the lids. And, um, you know, the whole reason is just so that applying the concealer is going to create kind of like a new base for us. That way the third or fourth eyeshadow in this case will stand out a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the shadow that I'm actually going to be applying is, you guessed it, yellow. Um, the Monarch Butterfly its main colors are orange, yellow, and black, and a little bit of white. So we're going to go ahead and fill up our lid space with this color yellow. And um, this color yellow, I don't know if it was because it's a Morphe shadow, but it did take a while for the color to pack on. So I went in with about, I would say, five to six layers of this eyeshadow for it to really stand out. And as you can see, kind of the more shadow that you apply, the more vibrant the color gets. So it did take me quite some time to build up the color. But overall, I really did enjoy putting these two colors together. And it really just did resemble, you know, a monarch butterfly. So we're going to go ahead and pack on the color on our other lid. So now what I'm doing here, um, this is just an extra step. You don't have to do this step. It's completely optional. But I did take a smaller detail brush and I took a little bit more of the, I believe was Hunt's eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going right on top of the cut crease to make this line a little bit more defined. The whole reason is, the whole reason for doing this is just, um, like I said, you want to make sure that the cut crease is very um, defined so that the colors contrast each other. And that's technically, you know, essentially what makes the cut crease a cut crease. So you want, that, you want the crease to stand out. So I'm taking this detailed brush and just applying a little bit more um, on the crease. And then I'm taking a smudge brush from Lime Life by Elkone and just kind of smudging this eyeshadow out. And I think after this, I don't know if I put this in the video, but I did grab another brush as well to kind of blend everything out and blow it out a little bit more. So um, I went ahead and I did that to the other eye as well. And now I'm just, as you can see, I'm taking my smudge brush again and just kind of blending that eyeshadow out. All right, so now it's time for some eyeliner, and I just purchased this eyeliner, so it's brand spanking new, and this is the perfect eyeliner pen from Lime Life by Alcone, and when you first purchase this pen, I mean, the tip of the pen is so sharp, it could literally cut you, <laughs> no joke, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do some wings because we are going to be applying some lashes today, some very dramatic lashes, and I wanted the wings to kind of represent the wings of the butterfly, so um, I'm going to be going in, as you can see, I always kind of start off by mapping out the liner on the top lid, and then I go ahead and I do the wing. So I do. I like to take my time, especially with wing liner and a super black liner at that because with any mistakes, you know, you're going to have to go back in and adjust everything. So taking your time making that wing, for me, this is the easiest way to do it, just to start working a little bit at a time and then bringing it back in to my top lash line to connect everything together. And I did not do the other side on camera, so... Um, once we finish with this, we're going to go ahead and move on to lashes. The lashes I'm using today, I purchased off Amazon. These are one of my favorite uh, lash trio combos. 
Um, and they're actually, each of a, each row is a different style. And the style that I went in today was called Sexy. I feel like these are just like the perfect um, sexy kind of Kim K lashes for this look. And next, we're going to go back in with that Oh Snap Perfect Blush. And we're going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom. For today's look, I wanted it to be a little bit more on the artistic side. And you're going to see that in just a minute. But... I wanted to smoke out the bottom lash line to the point where my eyeshadow on the bottom lash line would connect with um, the, the blush on my cheeks. So that is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wanted to do something a little bit differently. If you guys want to know all the products that I use, um, just go ahead and check down in my description box, and I will see you next time.